Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto 3. So, last time, oh man, the mission that we got stuck doing is just a real shit stain. I'm not happy about it. It's going to it's going to be a, quite the issue going forward because if you if you guys didn't if you guys didn't hear what it was, if you didn't see what it was last time, let me uh, let me fill you in by Craig David. I'm pretty sure the name of that song was actually "Fill Me In," but you know what's you know how it goes. I'm just I'm just running off of nothing. So yeah, um, the mission that we're stuck doing is we got to go you know gallivanting around town, you know blowing up these you know drug laden Colombian coffee stand things that you know they're trying to push drugs out of, and Asuka's pissed about it, so she wants us to do it because she doesn't like to take action herself because she's too busy slapping some Mexican guy around with a kendo stick up on top of a construction site, so, you know, whatever. That's what she's that's what she's all about doing, so we gotta go pick up that mission from her, because I ended it over there last time. About as far away from things as, as humanly possible. I do have a theory about how to do that mission more effectively than I did last time, so we'll, we'll put that into motion. If it sounds like I'm a little bit out of sorts tonight, it's because I definitely am. I'll, I'll kind of fill you in on the story here in just a minute. I've got a couple of stories to tell tonight, by the way. Um, one of which I didn't actually get to get out last night when I was when I was doing that uh, that Ico video, or Ico, or whatever the god you want to call it. I'm still going to call it Ico. I, I don't care what people think, because I think that that name sounds better, personally. And I just say it rolls off the tongue more gooder. I know, and he's like, oh my god, more gooder, he's blah, 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 blah. Ew, bad with grammar, rig, dig, dig, dig. So, the thing about this mission is, it doesn't, like, it doesn't, the, the clock doesn't start until after you've trashed the first stall. So, you know, I have a theory about that. If I go over to, uh, what the hell's the place it's called, Shoreside Vale, if I go over there first, <laughs> I still don't know why that guy would jump in front of me like that. If I go over to Shoreside Vale first, then, you know, destroy the ones out there, then it'll actually make my journey a lot easier, because I can kind of just do it in one, like, swift motion. I can go straight from Shoreside Vale back down to uh, Staunton Island, and then I can go from Staunton Island over to Portland. And I should, that's probably going to be about the fastest way that I can do it, I think. I mean, it's showing that one over there, but I really hope that's not the one I have to start with. I don't think that it, I think that it'll give you the option to do whichever one you want. So we're going to go... We're going to test my theory and see if it works. The other thing, too, is that I should probably not use my car to, like, ex to blow them up by running into it. Because, you know, that's a pretty stupid idea. That's probably part of the reason why I didn't get it done last time. Because I'm, I was too busy having to try to find cars to switch into. So I was sitting here going all, like, you know, super, like, you know, Japanese kamikaze into the little coffee stand guy there. So I got I got an idea on how to take care of that. I had I have that rocket launcher somewhere in my infinite pocket of goodies. Now I'm gonna see if that will maybe be a better idea to tackle this little thing with. So for me, the reason why I'm out of sorts tonight is I went working out with my brother tonight. You know, big surprise there. As you guys know, I'm on that really big fitness kick right now, and it's it's actually going over pretty well. Albeit I haven't lost any weight, but I am getting muscle, so that's kind of the. What was that all about? Why would you do that? Freaking crazy ass weird Indian driver bastard people. Oh, I'm gonna go over this way, I'm gonna go over- Oh, jeez! God! Man, apparently people of different- of different race are just crazy right now. Okay, so... I know where that first one is over there, but there's another one on this island somewhere, and I gotta figure out where it is. That's the important thing. So I know how to get back over to the, the little airport area. There we go. Right up here. So we get this one and we just start the, the swift genocide of all of these things. And we're going to be good to go. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so, you know, I'm working out with my brother and uh, I had to stop a lot earlier than I had planned on. Um, primarily because... Oh, this is a really weird place for one of these things. Uh, I had to stop earlier than I than I had expected because I started getting like this really really bad headache. Is he really doing this in front of like a hospital? What the hell would you put one of these in front of a hospital for? I mean, whatever. Um, so we had to stop early because of that. Like I was I was in the middle of a set. It was a uh, it was that weird little like station where you sit down in the seat 
and like you, uh, like you have to like reach over the little the little spot like right in front of your uh, in front of your chest, and you have to do like you have to curl that little weird like wavy curly bar. Oh no! Wow, that worked out pretty good actually. I'm not mad at that at all. Oh no! There we go. Okay. When in Rome, when in Rome, you kill everybody. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there doing that, and I started getting that really bad headache, and uh, I could just feel like this weird, like, twinge. And it's mainly because, you know, I was putting so much extra strain into it, because I'd already, like, obliterated it, pretty much my entire upper body from all the workouts that we were doing. And uh, by the end of it, see, dude, this is such a better idea. Why did I not think of this earlier? Just, you know, do it from a, do, do it from a distance instead of having to do it the hard way. All right, let's let's go head off to uh, off to Staunton Island since we're right next to the bridge, and we still got 6:40 left to go. We should be in, in pretty good hands here. I'm pretty uh, pretty stoked for this right now. The only problem is I don't know where the other stalls are at, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that I get lucky enough to, to get them and find them easily enough. I would imagine they're gonna keep them all relatively bulked together. Oh, go figure, go freaking figure. Wow. Okay, I thought that guy was gonna. Go! Yay! Nothing like causing some good old-fashioned suicide. It's like as soon as you bump them, they just automatically go. <laughs> it's like it's like a signal or something. <laughs> it's like that movie. Uh, what what the, was that movie called? The Happening? Is that what it was? Where people would just like they'd all of a sudden like go and kill themselves. Like the guy that went and, like walked under the the riding lawnmower or something like that, and he just killed himself. It's like what the hell are you doing? It's like something weird in the air happens. You know, I can feel it coming in the hair tonight. I'm like, oh my god, I've been inflicted by the disease. I have to go kill myself brutally now by laying down in the grass under an unmanned lawnmower as it chops my body into indiscernible pieces. Oh no. Nope, 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 nope. No. There we go. And you're dead. So, so yeah, I was working out on that, and then I got like that weird twinge of pain in my in my head, and uh, I like I closed my right eye because I just I was like grimacing through it, and uh, my brother's like, what the, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, what's what's up with the, what's up with your head? He's like, why'd you do that? And I was like, I don't know. I got like this really bad headache right now, and he's like, all right, we we need, we need to stop right now. I'm I'm not trying to have you know you break out into this crazy like aneurysm fit on me right now. Get out of my way, you dummy face. I don't have time for your shenanigans, okay? I gotta go over over by Kenji's spot. I know that's one area where I can find some of these things, so I'm gonna do that. Ah! I think that's the place to be. Unfortunately, I don't quite remember where Kenji's place is. I think it's kind of over this general direction, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes, it is. I gotta go over this way, though, because the other way is not going to really help me out very much. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what happened there. We just we ended up stopping, which sucks because I didn't even get to do, like, my abdominal stuff. That's really where my big self-conscious thing is because I'm all, like, you know, kind of... All my fat is there, so that's really the only part that's bothering me, amongst other things. So, yeah, we just... I, and, like, I just... I felt really weird after that. Like, I just... I had, like, the headache was just really dull and it wouldn't necessarily go away. Like, I felt better after I stopped, but... I don't know, I just... Didn't feel quite, quite right. But then I came home and I, I ate some dinner and I went and got some frozen yogurt and then everything was all good. Oh no, you don't. Go, gotta go right now. Leave. Must you, must go. <laughs> Shooting that guy was probably not a very good idea because now they're now they have it out for me, and I don't really have the liberty city of doing this the way I wanted to. Oh yes. Thank you. Oh no. 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 Go. Okay, this is potentially very bad now. There we go, six of nine. This is not my optimal way of having this done, but that's okay. I think we're gonna have enough time to be able to get out of this live. Because I'm pretty sure this this other one right over here is actually the last one on this on this uh, this island. So after we go blow up this one next to a church of all places, because you know that's not like filled with irony or anything. Go, go, go. Go, baby, go. We must get to the bridge now, wherever it is. I don't remember where it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where is it? Okay, here we go. 
gonna be right over here somewhere. That's not it, I don't think. No, it's not. Damn it. Oh no. This is gonna be bad. Yep, that's the wrong bridge. No, give me that car! No, I can't stop fast enough. Give me your car. I need yours, like now. Well, any time for this. Uncle Blowjobs! Oh boy. Go. Go, Mr. Infernus. You need to you need to move, son. I do not have time for this. I've got places I gotta be. I've got stalls to blow up to to save the world from impending doom. Oh no. Oh no, I don't know where I'm going. Oh god. Oh god. This is not good. Oh here we go, it's right here. Perfect. I just need to get out of here. Please give me a street that I can turn on for crying out loud. Oh god, I only have 145 to go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it off in time. Go, baby, go. You need to go this way. You need to go this way. Oh man, we're gonna this is gonna be so close. If I can pull this off, it's gonna be amazing. Um, oh, my other big story, actually. So this lady, this lady uh, comes into my store the other day. I didn't actually help her, but I was, I was there when it was going on. So uh, this lady uh, apparently called up on the phone the other day, and uh, she was like, you know, wanting to know about a certain type of product and if we had any and blah blah blah, where she could get it from. And so we told her about it, and uh, she was giving us this whole thing about, you know, if. If she takes it and she's allergic, can she can she you know return it? Even though it's something that, in like in theory, there's no possible way that she could be allergic to it because there's no allergens in it. She's like, well, but I, I'm sensitive to like everything, so I just I have to be extra careful. And so you know, if I'm allergic to this, can I bring it back? And we're like, I I suppose. I mean, sure, whatever. It looks like we're gonna get this done. By the way, I'm I'm super pumped about that, even though my voice doesn't say so because. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a regular Ben Stein right now, I just don't even really care. Just fucking clear eyes, it gets the red out. Hey, guess what? You're dead! Now what? Yeah, 40k, bitches! So, yeah, so she ends up calling the next day. And, uh, uh-oh. Oh, no! Get out! No! And we lost all of our ammo! Oh, no! All right, all right. Really, it happened that way? I didn't even get an opportunity to get out of the damn thing. <sighs> okay. Well, anywho, um, so she calls up the very next day, and she's like, I took one of these, and I'm allergic to it. So this is how this is gonna go down. And I was like, oh great, here we go. Now, now we got this lady that's gonna be pumping out demands, like she runs the joint all of a sudden. So she's like, so this is how it's going to go down. I can't even turn this thing right now. It's like not even responding to me. Okay, now it is, but it wasn't before. Oh, great. Here we go. The Chronicles of the Rumpo not being able to turn in any sort of radius whatsoever. Um, is, this, is this where the bridge is? I don't even know. I, I, don't, I don't recognize it. Nope, it's not. But that's okay. I'll brutally murder people to figure out where I'm going. Is it here? I'm not sure. It is not. It is not where it is at all. Damn it. I know where it is now. So, she's like, this is how it's going to go down. And so I, I pick up the other phone because uh, the, other, the other girl that we had working on this, she was just like, she had like this huge look of disbelief, like, really? This, this, is, this is really what you're doing right now? You're barking out orders to me? So she's like, because of the fact that I took this and, I, and I'm dissatisfied, I called the company that makes this, and they're going to refund. Um, they're going to refund the product for me in cash. But what I want from you is I want a double refund, and I want another. I want. Um, and I think she said she wanted like a free product of her choosing. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't say it, but in the in the back of my mind, I'm like, hold on, just a second here. So you got you got comped by the manufacturer, which. A, would actually totally uh, dismiss me from having to give you a refund. That turn was amazing, by the way. Um, like, so that would that would pretty much make you devoid of getting a refund from me, but you want me to give you a double refund for a product that you did not use, that you pretty much faked being allergic to because there's no feasible way 
that you could have been allergic to it. So you're wanting me to give you... You want me to give you a refund for something that you used one pill out of and are claiming made you sick. And, oh, it's just like, really? It's like, you're getting, you're, you're essentially saying that because you took one pill out of here, that you want to get comped three times what you paid. Because you're getting it, you're getting, it's like, you're not going to give you three times what you, you paid ten dollars for this, and you're making like forty bucks out of it. Actually, that'd be, it'd be thirty, but... It's the, it's the principle of the idea. It's like, do you understand what you're asking right now? It's the most outlandish, stupid thing I've ever seen. Or ever heard of, for that matter. It's like, just get over it. You're being completely, you know, unreasonable for your demands right now. Not to mention, you can't really make demands out of that. I mean, if, you know, if you're not satisfied with the product, you know, I, I have no problem with you returning it, but... Don't sit here and make these outlandish demands, especially if you already bypassed us and went and got a refund from somebody else. You know, you already got the refund from the people that made the damn thing. Why do you need to get a refund from me? It's like, ugh, people, you know. It's a big, it's a big shitstorm sometimes. Well, guys, we've run out of time for this episode, and I'm starting to get a headache again, mainly because I'm staring at a screen in the dark. That's not really helping out my cause any. Not to mention I'm really full. I need to go take a shower and I'm probably going to go to bed because I have not gone to bed before 4 a.m. the last like three days in a row and that's not boding well for me right now. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. So when we come back next time on Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3, it looks like Asuka has another mission for us. I really don't, I, I think that uh, Donald's, ep uh, his missions, I think those might be the last ones in the game, but I'm not sure though. I'm not positive on that. I think so, because I can't think of anybody else that would have missions for us to do. But uh, that's just me. So, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for stopping by and watching. I know that I did this episode way later than when I normally film, but this is kind of what I had to work with here. So, you guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.